day. Welcome back to Brooksy's Car Restoration. Um, unfortunately for a while, um, and a lot of people aren't seeming to like, like the vlog style videos as much as the other content that I do, whereas, um, anyways, whatever. For a while anyways, until I get the Triumph, uh, start working back on the Triumph, um, most of this stuff's going to be sort of vlog style. Um, we just got lots of little bits and pieces to do here and there. Um, so, on today's episode, and look, I may or may not get to these things, and I may not be doing other things, who knows? It's just how the vlog ends up working, and sometimes I end up prioritizing other things. But the main thing that needs to get is I'm helping a mate with a, with a bumper. So we've got a raw plastic bumper under there, which we're going to prep and start painting very shortly. Um, I've got some new plugs for the Beetle. I've also got some throttle cleaner, slut throttle slash carby cleaner. So what I'm going to first try to do with the Beetle is um, give the carby a bit of a tap and see if we can't un stick the, flo the, the, the float um, and try and get it running um, and yeah obviously throw some plugs in it if because it's running rough at the moment so may just throw some plugs in it we need to get it going and moving at the moment it won't run or won't stay running so because it's constantly flooding so if we can't unstick the float we'll pull that apart and give it a good clean even if we do unstick the float, eventually we'll pull that apart and give it a good clean. But it may not happen today. But if we can get it running today, at least we can... We know for a fact that it's the float that's sticking and it's causing the problems. We can um, just get onto that and sort that out. I need to... I'm moving this now. The battery's flat, so I'm letting it run for a bit. Um, but later in the week, whether it gets in this vlog or the next vlog, Got to do a timing belt, got to do the water pump, got to maybe do the head gaskets. That may be a video all on its own, I don't know yet. Just see. And tomorrow, Dad's coming to help me move the Triumph, which is still under cover there. It's coming back in the garage next to the Beetle, so I can work on it from time to time. And today, also, my wife's little Subi. Um, so we're doing a bit of painting today. I did it, did the bumper once before, painted it once before. Um, it's had a scuff. So we're going to clean that up, fix it up. And then I'm going to have a go, not just this car, but, um, but making my own uh, product. I'm going to make... Um, whether that happens in this vlog or not, it's another thing too, but these are just jobs that are coming up. I'm going to have a go at making my own, um, like, carpet shampoo or carpet cleaner. Um, the stuff I'm using is no longer available, and carpet cleaner costs an arm and a leg. So if this stuff works, um, I will be basically showing you what I did and, and um, how you can save a lot of money on carpet cleaner, basically. Um... As it is now, I pay about, I think it's 50 bucks a bottle, and the, the stuff I use lasts for about two to three cars, depending on the size of the cars. Um, the stuff I'm going to make up could potentially clean up to 20 to 30 cars, and um, instead of being $50, it's probably more like 25 to 30. Um, so yeah, if it works, I'll save a ton of money that way. Uh, well, and potentially we can save everyone a ton of money if, um, you know, just to, if you're trying to uh, detail cars and flip cars and stuff, which I do from time to time. I haven't done for a while, but we're trying to get back into it. So we'll be pushing out the forest very shortly. Um, and yeah, buying and selling, buying and selling, etc. So probably be buying another car very shortly as well. Um, anyways. Working on the bumper. 
So the bumper we're working on today is from a Subaru 2008 Subaru Impreza. And I'm helping out a mate of mine who also watches the channel, Rod. You're watching, Rod. Hopefully I got your consent to uh, video this. Please uh, leave a comment below if you were consent to this being videoed. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, yeah, nice looking bumper. We're just going to um, take some of the shine out of it a little bit. Uh, give it a very light sand. Well, you know, first off with some um, very uh, light sandpaper just to help the, um, what do you call it, plastic primer, whatever it is, to stick. Um, and then, yeah, get into it. Play around with the new gun a bit more. Um, yeah. All right. Now we've taken a lot of the smoothness out of the bumper. We'll give this a wipe over with some cleaning product just to take any dust or grit off from the sandpaper. And, um, you know, it looks rough, but that's the point. You want to take as much of the shine out of it as you can. Um, and then we'll hit it with the first coat. Or the, the, what do you call it, primary stuff, the stuff to help the paint, the he adhesive to help the paint stick to the plastic. So yeah, back with that in a minute. All right, I've cleaned up the bumper a bit. Today I'm using this uh, light gray etch primer. It's already ready to use, don't have to mix it up. Um, so yeah, we'll spray that on and go from there. Sorry, I will stir that slash shake that thoroughly before putting that in the gun and then we'll put it on. First uh, coat primer down. Pretty bloody happy with that so far. No runs. Uh, from what I can tell, no fish eyes or anything else for that matter. Very nice etch primer. Some of the bits were a little bit hard to get to, but I pretty much got everything. Um, yeah, I think this will be a pretty darn nice job if I can keep, if the gun keeps performing the way it does. Um, so we'll go clean the gun, get it ready for the first coat, and um, yeah, give it a slight sand between each coat and um, see how it goes. We'll, um, well, we'll give it a slight sand between this coat anyways and the next coat, just a very light, light one. And um, yeah, but so far pretty happy. So be right back. All right, now we're going with Subi. It's like a sparkling silver. And it's a one-to-one -one mix. And so we'll be following that guideline there. Oop. So one-to-one -one mix ratio using a filter. Um, making sure to clean the gun between between the different paints. Oh, and making sure that the paints shaken and mixed properly. Blah blah. blah. Not super happy with this one to one ratio. Um, it seems awful thin. Um, trusting my uncle. He's a he works at a paint supply place, so 
we'll give it a crack and see how it goes but um yeah fingers crossed it all works out well well I wasn't stoked at the consistency of that paint but check this baby out Oof. I am a bit jealous it's covered really nicely now mind you that's just the first coat but you get the idea let's see if we can pick up some of the metallic flake oh look at that so I'll probably do another one or two of these coats and then I'll hit it with some clear but yeah oh my gosh not bad for a guy who just messes around in his shed. <laughs> I love it. Um, a mate of mine who also does YouTube, um, Mad Ginger, he's always telling people, if you can do it, if I can do it, you can do it. I, I love that phrase at the end of his videos, and um, it's absolutely 100% correct. You've, you're not losing anything by having a go. Um, I've, I've, I'm always, you know, having a crack at something. But, you know, worst comes to worst, you mess this up. You sand it back, you have another crack. You know, that's how I learnt. You just, you know, most of this stuff is somewhat forgiving. Um, you know, you just, but unless you have a go, you're never really gonna know. Anyways, um, probably come back once I've got the clear on and give you the final sort of look, but I may come back and let you know if I've stuffed anything up, but at the moment there's no runs, everything looks pretty damn sweet. Um, I don't think I've missed any spots, and the uh, I wish the camera would pick up the um, sparkles, but maybe better in the sunlight a bit later. Maybe we'll take it out in the sun and have a look. But I think it's going to look really pretty. Super stoked, and I get to play with my new birthday present. Gotta love it. All right, I've just given. The float a bit of a tap or tried to, the bowl seems to be on the back of the carby so I can't really get anything decent in there to, to give it a whack. I've tapped it with a screwdriver and I've tried and I've bumped the carby with other things. Let's see if it's still carrying on. Otherwise I'm gonna have to pull that carby off and mess with it. Although now my luck, sometimes you leave it for a while and you come back and it runs perfectly fine, so that may also happen too, so. Either way, I think I might be pretty much pulling the carby at this point. Anyways, let's see what it does today. Come on, old girl, let's go. Okay, apparently not today. So that might be the job for this afternoon. Sometime. If it starts, I'll uh, come back, I guess. Well, I was really hoping the beetle would, after a few taps of the carby, would just kick off and run, but obviously it's going to be a bit more co complicated than that, which means um, moving forward. It's going to be a bit more difficult because I've got, I need to move cars in and out and um, I was hoping to work on the wife's car in the garage as well as I need it moving in and out so that I can get the triumph in. Uh, anyways, fun and games. Um, I promised my wife I'll get her car done next so um, the bit will have to wait for a little bit. I'll bring her car, I won't be able to bring it in the garage obviously, but I'll bring her car somewhat undercover the front end anyways so that um I can mess with that bumper and then um give it a, and then mess around with the um 
give the interior a good clean and that and um, mess around with the um, product that I'm going to make test it out etc etc anywho we'll um, I can show you the bumper um, I'm sort of a bit all over the place but that's the uh, finishing product Um, nice and shiny. The uh, clear coat come out really, really good. And um, yeah, you can see the um, f metal flake underneath it. The um, sun, unfortunately, is gone away. The uh, clouds have come out to play. But um, I was hoping to show you in the sunlight what, what it looked like. But um, hopefully, the camera does it justice. The um, it looks. In my opinion, looks really nice. Hopefully, old my mate Rod's happy with this. Um, so yeah. Anyways, we'll get back to it. So yeah, we've fixed the bumper. Just got another coat left to do and clear coat. About to um, start using the cleaner that I made, the homemade cleaner on the car. So if we're happy with it I'll post what I did and if not you won't see it. But um, I, I have a pretty good feeling it'll um, I've made similar stuff before and it's worked so hopefully this will work. So I ended up adding a uh, double recommended dose to the bottle. So if your washing liquid says add one cup uh, cap to the load, then add two. Um, it seems to be soaping up pretty well. It smells great. I added double the dose of um, the smelly, smelly stuff as well. Um, so yeah, that was after I did the floor. There was mud stains in the floor. This car's not that dirty. Um, I will be using it in the territory maybe tomorrow. I don't know if it'll end up being in this video. Um, let's see if we can find a stain. There's a little bit of a stain there. Let's see if we can't get it out. They're using my drill brush. Up all right. Getting messed everywhere else. We'll do the suction off and we'll see what it looks like. Well, the um, stain appears to be gone. And it smells unbelievable in here, so it's definitely got the smell factor. Let's see if we can't find a better stain to knock out. But so far, um, you know, f for the cost, it's doing a good enough job. Back force foamed up nicely, and it smells really good. If you like me and you love, you know, your car to smell great, this. Probably the best smell you can get in your car, in my opinion. The smell of fabric softener and that. Got my little helper. How's the new shampoo smell, Leo? The carpet cleaner smells good? Yep. You're right. Yeah, it's just that like, uh... Hold it. That's it, hold it flat. Can you get on behind the pedals? Behind the what? Down under the behind the pedals. That's it. 
you, you might have to get down here. Oh yeah, get it up first. So basically, um, if this product works, I'll be showing this part after the um, test part. Um, but yeah, basically, what I want to do with what, my, what I want with a, a cleaning a car cleaning product basically is to um, I need something with a good stain remover. I need something that's going to soap up well. And um, I need something that's going to smell nice. Um, so, I like um, a good, well, I'm not going to, I mean, Surf is my favourite brand, but still, I like a good, um, you know, just laundry detergent. Um, basically, what I'm going to go is, you know, you, put, you use one cup in, a, in your laundry. Now, I've added one cup. Now, you may need more or less depending on how uh, soapy you want your liquid. And then, normally I would use something like downy, but I don't have downy, so I'm going to use fluffy. Um, and, yeah, it, you know, it's basically there for the uh, smell factor. Have the car smelling beautiful, um, and so yeah, I'm if if the product if I'm happy with the product, I will um, I will add this to my video. If not, I will not, and it will be a failure. But um, yeah, so we're gonna mix this up. We're gonna try it in the car, and if we're happy with how much how well it soaps up and the smell and blah 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 blah. I'll add this little bit into the video, if not, yeah, anyways, um, oh yeah, and, another day, another dollar, here at Brooksy's Car Restorations, I don't know about dollars, but anyways, <laughs> haven't been flying all that well lately, there's the old girl, finally, pour her out from underneath the, uh, car cover, now, <sighs> I bought what was considered the top of the range cover. Weatherproof, they said. Beautiful old girl. The patina's starting to come out on it. Um, this floor's not too bad, slightly damp. That one's got a bloody puddle. I am not impressed. I spent an arm and a leg on that cover to protect, you know, to protect my assets. And, um, it's a leak like no one's business. Uh, tell me what you think about car covers. If I bought, is there a better one I can get? It won't matter because in a bit it's going to be in the shed with Beatty. But, um, I'd like to know for future, potentially future projects, if I've got to leave them out in the yard, whether they're going to be safe or not. Because, um, yeah, not happy. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to have to rip that carpet up. Yeah, the carpet was in good condition too, by the way. Not happy. I'm going to have to rip up that carpet and, um, I don't know, let all that water out and... Damn it vacuum it and blah 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 try and dry it out somehow um but yeah here's the old triumph haven't seen her for a while she's going to be back on the channel very shortly um get her inside where we can work on her because like i said it's been absolutely pissing down all month pretty much on and off um so yesterday we finished cleaning the carpets and it smells it still smells really really good I 
of the cat pillows. <laughs> We're cat people, if you can't tell. Well, my wife's more of a dog person, but... Seats and the floors turned out pretty nice. Boot. I mean, it wasn't terribly dirty to begin with, just had grass and stuff in it. From where the kids come and go and vice versa, us. <laughs> But yeah, she's looking and smelling a million dollars now. So I started um, playing with the old girl this morning. And um, see the butterfly in there? When I pull on the accelerator. Uh, where is she? Come on. The uh, That's full open throttle. The uh, carby's not... The, uh, when I let it go quickly, it sort of um, opens, but yeah, the, the, uh, oh, small feel. The, uh, I don't know what's going on. I think it's flooding plus the, uh, something going on with the butterfly. It's not opening. It should open and close when you pull the accelerator. So, probably could be multiple issues with that carby so that the 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 what do you call it float might be sticking and the butterfly is not doing what it's supposed to either so no wonder she won't bloody start anyways we'll, I'm waiting for dad to come and to confirm my theory and start pulling the plugs out anyways because if the cylinders are full of fuel I need to get all that out to give it a shot fighting chance of potentially starting the young fella here looks like we don't have much spark apparently the uh, points aren't opening properly so that's adding to our problems potentially yeah. um, also I just pulled the first plug out it doesn't look too bad it's very smell smells a lot of fuel but what, what I found interesting is that um now I've actually broke one of the things unfortunately too so I'm probably have to get some new leads but um, the they seem to the the bleeds plug leads sorry seem to plug onto the end of these things which you know when you can actually take these off the plug so it's um quite interesting um, I haven't seen a car that plugs on like that but anyways um, just yeah we'll see the rest of the plugs look but at the moment they're not looking too bad. Yep, so um, I'm pretty certain, and I can't see this, but um, see it all down in there, there's um, lots of oil coming out from underneath the distributor. Um, pretty damn certain the oil, the oil ring that goes inside the distributor is um, cactus, because inside the dizzy, it's full of oil. And I think that was what was causing our weak slash bad spark we've cleaned it up a bit and it's sparking again properly but i think i'm gonna have to pull that out and put a new ring on it otherwise it's just gonna keep pissing oil up inside the distributor and causing it to die and um that's our fun i hope that that will fix everything but um yeah i guess we'll see wait and see and that underneath them yeah that's oil that's flicking up from the distributor it's on the top on that there it's all down the side there but um Anyways, we're going to give it a kick in the guts now, and um, hopefully she'll bark off now that she's got some spark. She's alive. Still kind of sounds like it's missing a little bit. I've still got one plug left to do. But she wanted to die. That part is awesome. Well, it's coming good. Might have just been getting that fuel out of its system. Yeah. At least we can move the car now. Yeah. Alright, so she's alive again for the time being. I've got to do a couple of things though. Before I drive it again. 
change one more plug, change the spark plug lead, the breaker lead, and put a new O-ring on that busy. But we can at least drive her. All right, I'll let her warm up a bit. Running sweet again. Very responsive. The, the last plug I pulled out was very carboned up, so could have been the issue. Going to move the, the Triumph into the garage now. The old girl's in. Bit of woof and grunting. Bit hard to tape and have two people push the car at the same time. I, I didn't think about it. I could have used my, uh, what's it called? A bit meh. Too much stuffing around, I guess. She's in. B will go here. Hopefully, I've got to do a bit of messing around. And, um, yeah. Thanks, Dad. All good? Lunch. Okay, we're on. Taking Beatty to get some lunch now that she's running again. To be continued.